Good afternoon, America! No, you're not at a Ku Klux gathering. There's very few that could do the things that I could do. Many years ago, when I was much older and severely afflicted with arthritis, this was a posture that was completely out of my reach. Now, in my 70s, I am ready to grow younger and enjoy the fruit of my labor. Soon I'll be hitting my mid-age crisis and start worrying about my libido. Why my disguise? It is not a disguise. There's a lot of mosquitoes in this room. This is a perfect way of protecting yourself if you go out into the forest or if or the swamplands you will not be bitten you can use it for your hands you can also use it for your face even more so not only is an issue of problems with mosquitoes but then there's problems with when you go into the forest with poison oak, poison ivy, spiders, and other bites from whether it is bees or hornets. You can treat them very quickly with instantaneous results. Always carry a banana. The yellow banana, not the spotted banana, but the yellow banana, use the peel, and if you have the itchiness, second day or third day, of poison ivy or poison oak, just rub it down, and within minutes the itch stops. And you'll have to do it every 12 hours, and within two to three days, the poison oak or poison ivy will be totally eradicated. That's true of insect bites too, though you get immediate relief. So these are good things to know. Simple remedies for simple minds that are costing you no challenges to your health, no side effects outside of feeling better. Now these bags that I used also for protection against insects make one of the most convenient and inexpensive ways of sprouting your seeds. You can get them at any hardware store or lumber yard or paint store. It is a paint strainer bag, five gallon size. You'll get two big ones for approximately three dollars. They last forever and if you do end up having any one of them develop a hole, all you do is just get some string, tie off the hole, and the sprouting bag will continue to function effectively. Now what we're going to do is, as a starter, we're going to think in terms of growing some sprouts. Why would we want to grow sprouts? Well, the other alternative, we would have to take these seeds. We can't eat them as they are. We would have to cook them. Now in cooking, you lose one of the most important nutrients is enzymes. At temperatures above 120 degrees Fahrenheit, the enzymes are disorganized. These are proteins that have tremendous amount of value to your health. And life becomes impossible. Once you heat treat it at 120 degrees for half an hour, the seeds will not germinate, means the life is gone. There is also, if you took a hologram picture, photo, of the radiation field of a seed in a raw state versus a cooked state, the raw has a high field of 
energy that expands in all directions. And this energy field is what empowers you. This is the rejuvenation factor. This is the nutrient profile that is developed while in the process of germination, sprouting. The Essenes that were a tribe that lived in the desert area of the Dead Sea. Their longevity was over 400% longer than the rest of the Mediterranean, Northern Africa, Southern Europe. They lived right into the 120 years of age on the average. That was the average age for their community of about 4,000 individuals. And they were healthy, vital, noted for their agricultural skills. Their, and, but they lived on in a desert where nothing really grew. Where did they get the water? They used water from here in the process of condensation. And they grew their food both from the baby greens, from seeds that they traded for, for the skills that they offered to other individuals, but, and also the immature plants that they developed, such as sunflower greens, wheatgrass, buckwheat, and others. In the germination process, the food becomes pre-digested. So the starch gets converted to sweet sugars, and complex carbohydrates and essential fatty acids. The fat levels diminishes radically, like sunflower seed has over 60% fat. It, the calorie content, just merely from soaking and activating the enzymes in the seeds, is reduced by over 60%, so it doesn't put on fatty face, reduces your blood circulation. No. It's converted to sugars and essential fatty acids. The protein becomes pre-digested, so it doesn't cause allergic responses like you might have difficulties with. Some people do with almonds, others with walnuts, others with macadamia. By merely soaking and letting the enzymes pre-digest, the enzymes that are in seed, you have overcome those conditions. So I've taken like about a cup mixture of mung bean, lentil, and alfalfa, and I'll put it in one of these bags. And then what we do is we take, we take some salt, sea salt, and we're going to put about a, a teaspoon of it, not much, in a bowl of water, and kind of sprinkle, mix it in, so that it ends up dissolving about a teaspoon to a gallon of water. And if you don't have non-chlorinated water, just let the water sit and let the chlorine evaporate or warm it up and it'll quickly the chlorine will get out of the water. Try to use the purest water possible. And then you can take your baggie and toss it into the water and let it soak overnight. Minimal would be 8 hours, maybe 12, even 14 hours, depending on your temperature. The warmer it is, the shorter the soak period. But you'll always soak for at least 8 hours. After allowing it to soak, you just went through the soak period. Then what you do is you'll have residual of some discoloration, and you want to take that first soak water kind of wash the seeds thoroughly and take the soap water and feed it to the plants. Hi. Hi. Can we put the bowl up here so that okay. everybody can see Ooh, like that? Because yeah. we have this beautiful grass right here that's covered. Excellent. Up. Okay. okay. Hi, gang. So after soaking it for overnight, what we do is we drain off. And then we feed the soap water to our garden, to our plants, and we start off again with a new batch of soap water. 
where we put one teaspoon of salt, sea salt, to a gallon of water, and in the morning, if you just soak the seeds, rinse them, soak it a couple of times, and hang it up. And what is interesting, you can do it at your shower. Usually you have a shower rod. I just put it around the shower rod and twist around it, and it holds in place. Well, you do that day in and day out, the whole process, and what starts happening is that the next thing you know is that you are growing it, not this wheat grass, but you will be growing it into a very large quantity. Notice this, it's in a zippy bag. I can take those seeds as they're germinating and transport it from one location to another. Like if I'm doing traveling on a lecture tour, I can be growing my sprouts in the bags and then I have to travel the next day. I just put my bag after it's been rinsed and the water has been poured off into one of these zippy bags. I just close it off and toss it into my suitcase and it travels with me. In the evening I will pull it out and I will then do my rinsing and growing. Notice how big of a badge this is already from that cup that you witnessed in a matter of four days. Now the beautiful thing about this, it is delicious food that you can use it as snack, you can use it as a main meal by adding other foods uh, to it. I personally like some sea cheese or avocado as a side dish or some sea vegetable. All of it very transportable and very convenient for yourself to use. So, you primarily do that ritual and you can do it for up to seven Two days. Minerals. That's what you have in the ocean. Every known mineral that precipitates out as salt. And these minerals feed into the plant. It makes the plant genetically superior. Namely the sprouts, not only are they genetically superior, they taste better, they have a higher nutritional profile, and they have a longer shelf life. So my sprouts do very well keeping in a refrigerator for a couple of weeks without any problems whatsoever, just because of adding the sea salt. The, pi the pioneer work in, in his book, which was published in the 80s, was done by Dr. Maynard Murray. It's called Sea Energy Agriculture. You can find the manuscripts on the internet. But he showed that by utilizing sea salt solutions, diluted, uh, you can provide all the nutrients a plant needs and no other fertilizer was utilized in the growing of wheat, in the growing of fruit trees, in the growing of salad greens, nuts, and all kind of other vines. So it's a perfect fertilizer. Basically your plants need minerals, the full spectrum of mineral, and you get it from dilution of sea salt. That is not salt like sodium chloride. No, it's the sea salt with the full mineral spectrum. So that is the most advantageous way of growing. Then we can refrigerate this. Even without refrigeration, I can keep it on my shelves or hanging and continue eating it. And by the time it's down to the bottom, I'm already finishing eating it. And you can share it with your friends, but it's quite tasty.
and very cost effective. That is the nutritional deal you're getting it. You're guaranteeing yourself that you're going to have the most living food, the freshest food that you could possibly be consuming, the most cost effective, and you yourself as a farmer, you're working for about $150, $200 an hour because it requires very little time and you know how expensive organic produce are and you don't know how fresh they are. This stuff, you know they're fresh. They are still alive as you're putting them in your mouth and starting the chewing process. They are still growing. So this is as fresh food as you could possibly have. So, cost, nutritional density, the euphing factor, because it's got all the biology and the hormonal vibration of youth so that it will keep your cells, your tissues, your skin glowing with the life of the sprout. Um, the next thing we're going to do in our food preparation we're going to work with our friends and neighbors. They are everywhere here. The invisible world of the probiotics, the microbes. So please stay tuned as I give you the next chapter that will join the delicious sprouts and giving you a very complete, delightful meal. Thank you.